Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Way Too Wifey. I'm your host, Respectfully Gabby, and in this podcast, we talk all things dating and relationships in this modern day, and if you are new here, hi, I'm Gabby. I'm an online dating coach where I help you transform your confidence to live your best lives inside and outside of relationships. You guys, it all starts from within, and if you do not feel okay from within, you are going to attract the chaos in your love life. So I do have an eight-week transformation program where we completely retrain and reprogram the way that your thoughts are so you can live your best life confidently. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, please hit the stand link in my bio. I'll get a discovery call. It's completely free. I also do one-on-one sessions where one-off sessions where we just talk about whatever you want, 30 minutes or an hour, up to you. I feel like I'm failing you guys because I don't really have that much to report on ever these days. Besides last night, I did book a trip. My first trip of the year, we're going to Lover Girl City, Paris. <laughs> going to Paris in end of this month. I'm super excited. It was so random. I Paris was never really like on the top of my list. Neither was London, so we'll see. I like Paris has never been like so far high in my bucket list but the tickets were cheap and I'm going fuck it YOLO that's how I'm living my life I was literally sitting a couple of minutes ago and I'm really like deep in thought I'm doing my job doing my work and I'm really thinking to myself nothing really matters like literally nothing matters you can do whatever you want the options for this life are so endless like why do we put ourselves in these boxes where we're stressed out where we're fearing the worst is going to happen or we're like so scared of everything and anything and we sweat the small stuff like there's magic happening all around us right now if you were to look around you could probably find some things that you are actually like grateful for and thankful for anyway it like blew my mind this thought and it's not like a revolutionary thought but i was sitting there like we can really do whatever we want and sometimes we forget that so let this be your sign live your best life this is the only life that we have to live in this lifetime that doesn't even make sense do something today that is just going to inspire you to keep on keeping on like keep on keep on living because if you're just working to die and you're sweating the small stuff and you're constantly stressed out you're doing something wrong truthfully this is so off topic but i just had this thought and i had to share you, now you have nothing to lose like we live up your life regardless i don't know why that like came to mind or why i felt the need to share that on this episode but today my friends we are talking about going no contact and why it's important the benefits of going no contact if you're in a situation right now let me specify the no contact as i was doing a little bit of research on going no contact every single post was like the narcissist that you want to cut off contact with i'm like but what if someone just like got out of a relationship like there's no i've i found very few videos that didn't have anything to do with narcissism and i was like what is going on why is this so like narcissistic kind of conversation that we're having right now which it may be a narcissist that you're dealing with but if you're in a situation right now and you are getting out of a situation you're getting out of a relationship you're going through a breakup right now or in the past recent past and you're like, I can't shake this person, going no contact is going to help you in any outcome that you are looking for. Let me explain. If you're like, I want this person back, going no contact with them is the best way to get that person back. You wanna know why? Because that person needs their space to think about things. Allow them the space to feel what life is like without you that way they can be for sure like wow this person's it i'm actually really sure the time we spent apart is the time that i want to get back and i i miss them so much and i didn't realize what my life was going to be like without this person i want this person back and that way you know for sure that this is going to be right for both of you guys at the end of the no contact situation if on the other hand you are like on the fence do i want to get back with this person do i not want to get back with this person well going no contact is going to help your situation because it is giving you space to think about things with a clear head without them in your energy without them nagging or without you nagging them giving you space apart is going to create clarity on your situation you're gonna know 
at the end of the no contact, you're going to know if, yes, I for sure actually thought that I maybe didn't want this person, but now I'm reconsidering it and I actually do want this person. Or on the other hand, you can get out of this no contact time frame and think, you know what? I actually got to know myself as a person and I re am realizing that maybe my life is better off without this person. And that way you know for sure that this person is not your thing. If you're enjoying your life during that no contact phase, um, <laughs> I talk a lot about this, but in my last relationship, it was on and off again relationship. We were getting back together and then we would break up and then we would get back together and whatever. And it was an ongoing thing. Every bit of time that we spent apart, I felt like I was growing as a person. I was doing so much better in life and just overall, yes, I was really sad, but I was also living my life and I was much happier in that aspect than when I was actually with him. And that should have been my indicator that, okay, actually this person's not right for me, but what did I do? I continued to go back in this loop of getting in a relationship, getting out of the relationship until I was finally like, actually, I think I'm really good this time. And on the very final page of that, if you're certain when you guys do break up that you're like, actually, I really want to get over this person and I want to get over them as quick as possible. Going no contact with that person is the only way that you are going to expedite the process of you guys actually officially ending things because the more that you stay in contact with someone after you guys break up the more that you're giving this emotional support to each other you're gonna get drawn back into that relationship that you never even wanted to be in i was actually talking to one of my clients recently and she's like gabby i am in a relationship we live together um, but every time we break up he wants to get me back i feel trapped i don't know how to because I want to be there and I want to be his emotional support and I feel guilty every time I get that it is so incredibly hard and you want to help that person and you want to be there because they spent a lot of time with you you've gotten to know this person and you want to be there because you feel close to this person but the thing is you're actually avoiding the inevitable and prolonging the inevitable and you're also making it almost harder for that other person because they don't know what life is like without you. If you're like, Gabby, I really need to get out of this, going no contact with that person is the only way that that person is going to be able to move on because the more that they think that they have access to you, they're cutting off everything else in their life and they're like, okay, well, I know this person's going to stay around. Even if they say that they're breaking up, I know that they're going to stay around and that's giving me comfort. And it's only temporary comfort, by the way, because you're not actually going to stay. It's like you're giving them this little comfort blanket when you know it's going to get ripped off at some point. You're only making it worse off for that person because you're not giving them time to heal. You're not giving them time to move on with their lives. You're just enabling them to needing you yes you may feel guilty as fuck and you may feel like you're never going to be able to escape this pattern but that person needs to help themselves at the end of the day and if you're not going to be there at all times to be able to comfort someone else and if you're on the opposite side of this and someone's like really does not want anything to do with you and they want to break up with you and you're like no please 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 if you're begging this person to take you back why would you want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you like they don't want anything to do with you and you are guilting them into staying no one wants to be with someone that doesn't want to be with them. Yes, I get that they're your emotional support. You're there emotionally. You feel comfortable with them, but you're only making yourself probably anxious at this point because, and trust me, I've been there. I've been in this situation where I have begged someone to stay with me. It's almost like it comes off as extremely desperate. You want so bad for someone else to want you who doesn't want you. You feel desperate. You feel like you're you're begging someone to stay in your life the first sign that someone is like i'm done with this should be your sign to be like okay fine if you want to leave then leave i'm gonna be good on my own and trust yourself that you know that you're gonna come out of that a bigger and better person and yes i'm not saying that it's not gonna suck because it's going to fucking suck you don't need this person you've lived your life before not knowing this person you will live your life again i promise you it is the breakups fucking suck and they are the worst most like gut-wrenching like i can't focus on anything i can't focus at work 
I want to cry every single second of every single day. I feel so lonely. I have no people around. I feel like I don't even want to live sometimes. Breakups fucking suck. They feel like someone literally died in your life. It is not an easy thing. But the more that you go no contact every single day, it gets easier. And if that person is reaching out to you all the time, you're going to feel like you have a little bit of comfort and a little bit of this, a piece of them still. And you're going to hold on to that little piece of them thinking you might have a chance with them still, but really you're like setting yourself back instead of allowing yourself the time to and space to heal. How long should you go no contact? I would say honestly at least 30 days. In that 30 days, it really gives you enough time to like think with a clear head, get away from this person, know what it actually feels like to live your life without a person, have a little space to heal from the damage that this caused you. If at the end of the 30 days, you have reached a certain type of clarity and you you inside are feeling like I have to reach out, by all means, do what you have to do but it may set you back a thousand times more and just know that if you're not absolutely sure that you want to get back with that person don't even bother reaching out but if you're like actually i'm i really want this person back in my life it doesn't hurt to try if you're like i need to go no contact but this person is constantly reaching back out i don't know what to do you have to like let them deal with it on their own Yes, it might be considered a little bit of a ghosting, but once you break up with someone, you absolutely owe them nothing at this point. And you don't need to know where they're at. They don't need to know where you're at. You guys are broken up. And yes, it may feel like you still wanna be in this person's life or they still wanna be in your life, but the more that you talk, the worse off it's going to make the situation. That person keeps reaching out, don't even say anything. If at some point, if they will not stop, politely say, hey, I need some space to think about things. We can reconvene on a later date. I will reach out, but please stop reaching out. You're making this so much harder. They should be able to respect that. If they're not able to respect that, blocking sometimes does help. You just need your space. They need their space and neither of you are going to move on or gain any type of clarity if you're not giving that space. So if you're the one who's constantly reaching out and constantly like, I need you back, this needs to happen, what the fuck, um, and you're like very needy of their energy, you're actually almost sabotaging the relationship of what it could have been by not giving them space. Because no one wants to feel pressured in making a decision of being together or not being together. If you're pressing them, they're gonna pull so much further away from you. Whereas if you actually gave them space to think and like actually miss you a little bit, and gave that time to gain clarity, they're gonna be sure about their answer. And what you want is someone to be sure about you. So why would you not? And yes, it might fucking suck, but the more that you're reaching out, you're doing more damage than actually allowing the space. If you keep reaching out or if they keep reaching out, it's almost like a baby crying or like a toddler crying for a binky it's like you know it's probably not good for them right but you want to give them the comfort and but you know it's uh, eventually you're gonna have to take it away for good but in this moment right now let's put the pacifier in and allow them to to be able to like be comforted and just like chill with the binky it's it's literally the same thing you're you're putting a temporary band-aid on a situation knowing that you both need your space if you got anything from this no contact is the best way in whatever outcome that you're looking for if you want to get back together if you're unsure about getting back together or if you know for sure you want to move on no contact is absolutely essential. But that is it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you got any type of value from this episode, please hit the like five star rating wherever you're rating. Hit the thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notifications on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube so you will never miss another episode and I will see you all next Tuesday. Okay. Anyway.